Hello everyone. Twiklan 360 brings to you a fun of learning, knowledge, and better understanding. Stay connected. Stay tuned to us. Hello everyone. I, Sapan Kesha, Assistant Professor, Pradeshni Jail College of Pharmacy, Nagpur, welcomes you all to your own channel, Twiklan 360. Dear all, till now. what we have seen or what we have completed in our channel first we completed download and installation of the software called app power soft this is a free software that you can use for your screen recording for the purpose of teaching or the research purpose second we have seen how to download and install autodoc and autodoc vena that is called mgl tools this software is again a free and a very wonderful software to calculate the docking scores then later on third we have we have seen discovery studio visualization software this is a software which is available both in a free as well as in a paid form the free part is that we can visualize the docking result that is the active amino site binding the four software that we have seen is how to download and install pymol pymol is a free software available from the schrodinger and it is all is a best visualization software so let's move for today's session how to download and install ucsf camera dear all this ucsf camera is an extensible molecular modeling system so let's move on, move on and check how to download and install this ucsf camera for that first of all go to your web browser in the google just type u c s f camera and open the website so the first link is for your u c s f camera official website now friends what is this u c s f camera as i said it is an extensible molecular modeling system now u c s f camera is a program for the interactive visualization and analysis of molecular structure and related data including what you can do you can go for the density maps trajectories sequence alignment not only for analyzing the various molecular structure and all the related data but also ucsf camera can be useful for generating high quality images and animation which is not possible with any other software individual so friend what i call it as ucsf camera as a two in one software that is first purpose is for analyzing your your results second for visualization so friend let's see uh what you can do with this ucsf camera let us move to this image gallery what kind of the image can be possible Yes. Now you can see this is a structure of a protein, human OX2 or exine receptor with a servo exon, and human human OX2 or exine receptor with a servo exon. So this quality images can be generated by using this UCSF camera. as belonging to chemistry field pharmaceutical chemistry i am more interested in a docking visualization and docking so so let's see yes so such a kind of docking visualization image can also be generated now you can see this stick is representing your ligand and it is embedded in the pocket of the receptor it may be a protein uh, like enzyme or a receptor this is a table Which is showing you how the docking scores are being generated. Okay, so both the purpose can be done by using UCSF camera. Not only 
this image formation but recessive chimera can also be utilized for you know uh, producing your own movie let's see this is a one uh, there are various examples are given i am taking one or two so what is the first movie is created it is a morphing between inactive and activated conformation of f g f r f r1 kinase domain let's see how the movie looks like so let's begin now you can see the protein is moving and when it is phosphorylated it is in active form so the active form of the protein is like this and when it is not phosphorylated let's see how the protein changes so this movie is created with the help of this software even the second one human brain images two atoms a wonderful movie created with the help of ucsf camera The human brain is packed with circuits, cells, and molecular machines. Oh wow that's a wonderful movie of brain how we can visualize the brain uh one very interesting everyone knows about this nuclear core complex and we always know this nuclear core is continuously involved in transportation so let's see how the transportation actually occurs by a nuclear core oh wow let's see so uh, this gray portion is representing your nuclear core again and this is how the molecule are actually transporting across this nuclear core oh that's a great movie created again with the help of this ucsf camera so you can explore this website they have mentioned so many such a type of a wonderful best fantastic movies created using ucsf camera so friends now let's move on and see how to download and install ucsf camera so just click on this download button now you can see they have providing the links to download the ucsf camera for windows for mac as well as for linux now i am having in my computer uh, that is set up is of windows 64 bit so what i will do i will download this camera okay so let's click on it so now as i click on this camera setup it will open an agreement i have to accept it so let's accept and the camera will start downloading itself if it does not start then you can do so by clicking here download manually but in our case the camera is downloaded so let's wait for some minute Okay, so now the exe file is downloaded here. Uh, we can install the camera by double clicking on this exe file, and just press on this Run tab. 
it will install the camera software in your PC. So now let's next accept the agreement and next and next and install. Yes, that's it. So it has started again the installation of the camera. Now just click on this finish tab. Still the process is not completed. Click on this shortcut icon. And now you can see the process is again initializing. So after all this completed, now you can see your desktop and you will find a shortcut is created to open the camera. So let's refresh and double click on this icon. So it will open the camera software, the UCSF camera. Okay, just wait for the moment. It will open the UCSF camera. Yes, that's it. It started now. Okay, so how this windows look like? These are the file and various menus option available in the UCSF camera. You can do so many things with this UCSF camera as discussed earlier. Let us open one file. Let us say for a screen. Uh, so where this a screen? I have already downloaded the screen file and converted it in, into a PDB format. So I am opening that aspirin pdb format file. So in my desktop, I think it is saved here in C drive. C drive. Okay, let's see in the folder. Yes. Uh, so yeah, it is available here. Aspirin dot pdb. Let's open it. And yes, that's our aspirin molecule. Now you can see it is a 3D diagram of the aspirin. Uh, yes, we'll explore the uses of camera. So guys, that's all for today. We have seen today how to download and install UCSF camera. We'll see the next feature of the UCSF camera in the next video. Thank you very much. Stay tuned to Quicklearn. Thank <laughs> you.